Sempre a sgherrata. Sgherrata, tata, 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 tata. Tudo. E tanta tesoura, eu trago um kikili, um esmanhana, um unhane, que tu usa muito, que tu usa muito aí. We were here to uh, honor uh, one of the uh, greatest uh, legend. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, I always call him the Toki Toki, Bra Master Pieces Morib. Heritage Day, you know, and make sure that we celebrate those who knows uh, 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 the roots, you know, of football. These are the people that uh, laid the foundation for us, and it really means a lot uh, to come back and 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 pay respect and, and show gratitude uh, of the platform that they have set for, for us and the generation to come. I wish my father was still alive because my father used to tell me about uh, that Moripe uh, and um, the things that he used to do as a, as a footballer. I meet him at the stadium, we're still friends. We still remember some of the games that we played against each other. And uh, you know, we still talk about, you know, the old soccer that we used to play as well. If you take a style play of Hembazwani and uh, you take a style play of Mabena, those two are the people that can take defenders on and they can dribble as well. So if you take their combination, I think they can, you know, try and be the same as that of a masterpieces because he, he was so unique. He played his own style, you know, that, you know, it's so hard to can replicate him. It's just unfortunate because we don't have footages of these stories. Uh, but uh, I think if you are a football person, uh, you'd want to know uh, where our football comes from and uh, you'll want to know the history and uh, they speak about football heritage. These are the stories that you listen to and, and, and they refresh your mind as a footballer. <laughs> Rena, Mutanda, I replenished with that to me one. Replenella, who in a league. Lucas Masterpieces Morebe, a football South African icon, has passed away at his home in Atridgeville. Morepe had been ill for some time and was confined to a wheelchair. A dazzling midfielder, Morepe started his professional career with Pretoria Callies in 1971. He was named the National Professional Soccer League's Player of the Year and Sportsman of the Year in 1973. Morepe represented an NPSL Invitation 11 against a selected British All-Stars 11 in 1973 and had a stint with Caroline Hill Football Club in Hong Kong. He joined Orlando Pirates in the twilight of his career in 1981, but a persistent knee injury brought an end to his time with the Buccaneers. In 2010, the Super Stadium in Attridgeville was named after him, and he regularly attended Mamilodi Sundowns matches at the venue. The Lucas Moribe Stadium is one of Sundowns' home grounds. My sincere condolences to, to the Lucas Moribe family. I think he's one of the greatest legends in our country. It's important to, to acknowledge the big contribution that he had in our football, to lay a stage for people like us to have an opportunity to coach at this level. So as a club, we are sincerely touched by the situation because he is, is an icon within our club, within our city. We wish that he rests in, in peace, you know, and um, losing such an icon uh, that has been there in our games, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not nice, it's a, it's a very uh, sad feeling. Unfortunately, we got, to, we got to meet him. I mean, he's been to a couple of our games and um, yeah, he was such a gentleman, so um, condolences to, to his family. 
Fam, the King of Bling himself, William Bata, a.k.a. Mashobane, has just been dealt another blow. The once fleshy socialite who's currently behind bars has been denied permission to attend his father's funeral. Mbata's father, the late Lucas Masterpiece Muribe, was a legend in his own right, an iconic in South African football, and a name that still revered in Mzanzi. His passing has hit the nation hard, but for his son, William, the pain is doubled as he won't even get to pay his final respects in person. The streets are buzzing with opinions. Some are saying it's cruel to deny him this opportunity, while others are pointing out his not so clean record as the reason he's not getting any special treatment. It's giving a life comes at you fast. Let's not forget this is the same William Mbata who was known for his lavish lifestyle, think shiny suits, diamond watches, and flashy cars. But all that glitz faded when he landed in prison. Now, even in a moment of grief, his past is haunting him. Mzanzi, what do you think? Should the King of Bling have been allowed to attend his father's funeral? Or is this just the reality of his situation? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's chat.